Welcome to Yoga with Andrea, Very Yoga with Andrea. I hope you take some time to practice along with me. Very Yoga is a unique blend of classical asana, breath and meditation and movement. And it's a, our philosophy is one journey, many paths. So not one size fits all. And so today's session, join me on the floor. So you've just tuned in or you've recorded this show, find a clear a space around you. I'm sitting, I'm sitting on a blanket and a mat. Maybe you just are on your carpet. So if you've just tuned in and you're sitting on your couch, make some room for yourself. Maybe put the pets away and let's come down to the floor and sit down. You can sit easy cross-legged like I'm sitting. Or if that's too difficult for you or you're new to this, sit just with your legs out in front of you. And you can sit actually, if you're sitting in front of your couch, just lean back against the couch for a moment. So find what works for you, sitting legs out in front or legs crossed. Good. And we're going to start out with some work for our neck and shoulders. And I don't know if you're viewing this show early in the morning or in the evenings, but sometimes in the morning we wake up, we've got tension just from the way we slept. I used to wake up almost every morning with a tight neck because I slept incorrectly. And I'll tell you what the cure is that I figured out for myself. Two pillows, not too tall, and a neck roll. And I am, my neck is pretty much pain free, but also what I do is a lot of neck rolls throughout the day. So join me here with that. And I want you to do is you take a nice deep breath in. Let's just do a couple deep breaths. So breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Good, let's do that one more time together. Inhale. And then exhale. In and out through your nose. So the whole practice today will be breathing in and out through your nose unless you have a cold or a sinus problem. Breathe in now with me. And then exhale, let your chin come down towards your chest. Let the back of the neck release stretching those neck muscles. And then on your inhale, bring your head back up. So there's a little sequence here to release tension out of the neck. And you're gonna exhale now, take your head to the side, the ear towards your shoulder, good. And then back up again as you inhale. And over, I'll mirror you. So take it over to your left side, good. And then back up again. So let's do that two more times. So exhale, chin forward towards your chest, not very far. You can do this when you're sitting at your desk, when you're working at the computer, bring your head back up, or maybe while you're uh, watching the yoga show. And then come back up. So follow your breath. Exhale to your side, over to the side. Inhale back up. Good. And then one more time, chin down towards your chest. And back up again. I do appreciate all the emails I get from you guys, and I always pass them on to Jones Television. This is an amazing station. We have the opportunity to bring shows like this right into your living room, advertising free. I think this is just incredible. And you know what's so amazing? Do you ever catch yourself in the mornings, or I mean Saturdays, watching the wonderful old movies in the morning, cartoons and shows? I do, I'm, and I've actually been watching uh, Andy and Mayberry. It's so much fun to see those old shows. All right, so now let's take our arms out to the side, and this is really good to practice for your shoulders. So you first touch your fingertips to the floor, so I want you to have room around you, good. And then turn your palms open, just like this. This puts the shoulders on your back. And then we're gonna take the arms up beside our ears, right up to your side your ears as you inhale, yeah, do that. You're gonna just hold them here. You're gonna use your strength of your shoulders and your arms to keep your arms up, spread your fingers, and breathe, good. Now I'm lengthening and reaching up through my arms. So at the same time, I'm keeping the shoulder blades on my back. Draw your navel in towards your spine so you get a nice lift in your torso. You're stacking your arms, ribs, torso right over your hips. Good. Now, bring your palms, turn them away from each other. That's it. And then slowly take your arms so they are become parallel with the floor. And you can look, look at your hands and see if they're parallel, they're not too high or too low. Right there, parallel, good, and hold it, breathe. Relax your shoulders, you might find yourself going like this to hold, let them down. Reach out through the fingertips, that's it. And then bring your hands to the floor. Oh, we're gonna do that again. Turn your palms open, inhale, arms up, parallel with your ears. Lengthen through your arms, reach through your fingertips. Sit down into your weight, into your hips, and then draw your navel towards your spine. Breathe. Yeah, then we're the, take the arms parallel. Turn the palms away from each other so the palms face down towards the floor. Breathe.
breathe again. Keep that breath moving in and out through your nose. And then release your arms. Do it with me one more time. Turn your palms open, lift up. Nice big inhalation. Keep breathing, keep reaching. You can do it. And then turn your palms away from each other. Bring your hands so they're parallel to the floor. Reach out through your fingertips. This is great for the shoulders. And then release down. Now, you may feel some tension or tightness working here because of the way you're holding. So do this. Inhale, lift your sh shoulders to your ears. Good, then exhale down. So these are just basic warm-ups, and it's good to do them before you start a, a deep practice. And so let the shoulders release, get the tension out of your neck and the arms. And you know, like I said, sometimes it's from sleeping, sometimes it's from uh, just the end of the day. We hold a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders. Now bring your right arm up, that's it, good. And bend the elbow and just reach down the back of your neck. And we do this a lot to help release the back of the shoulders. And you can either put your hand here on your arm or reach overhead. Just gently pull your elbow to midline. And then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna make the stretch happen even further down the side of your torso by leaning over to your left and then anchor into your right leg. Sometimes when we lean, we start to sort of lean all the way out of that side. I want you to keep that side down to the floor so you lift out of the right side. Good. And breathe. And then come back up. You know, sometimes when you've never done yoga before, or these deep stretches, you gotta take it slow and you stay with your breath because what I, my goal in the teaching of these shows and the very yoga is to find a place where you can find the best benefit from practicing yoga and not hurt yourself, but to take the practice so that you can feel better, you feel less stressed, you sleep better, you have more energy. It's, it's an all around wonderful practice for your body and spirit and mind. You're, it helps balance you emotionally. And then come back up. Excellent. And then take your arms down. <sighs> yes, yeah, so let's do a little flow here for our spine. This is a very yoga flow sequence. To, we can move our spine in six normal directions, forward and back and twisting and side to side. So we're going to do all those movements in this flow. Now, if you've been sitting here like this and your knees are tight or you, and you want to take your legs out in front, you can do that or just switch the cross of your legs. All right, let's, let's go together on this. So start with me here, fingertips on the floor. Turn your palms open. Inhale, lift your arms up. We're gonna twist. You're gonna twist to your right. I'm gonna mirror you, so take your left hand, right knee, right hand behind you, look, be, look back behind you, and then inhale, come back up. Good, now go with me to the other side. Exhale. And then back to center. And let's do it again, twisting to your side, keeping your spine nice and straight. Just lengthen up, look over your shoulder. Turn back to center on your inhale. And then twist again to the other side. Very good. Get that spine nice and straight. Back to center. Joining me, I hope, and let's go one more time. A twist. In Sanskrit, yoga means you to join to bring together, to yoke. So we're, and then this is the Sanskrit word to revolve, pravrita, to turn. Now let's do a side stretch. Take your right hand to the floor and reach over to the side with that upper arm, with your left arm. Again, I'm mirroring you. And breathe, just hold this. I'm gonna hold this side stretch for a little while. And what you're doing is the hand is on the floor and your arm is, is, you can bend it slightly or keep it straight and then reach up with that upper arm. Try to extend through the fingertips. Take it over by your ear, good. Just hold it, a nice side stretch. And then on your inhale, push off with your hand and come up to reaching the arms overhead and then other way. There we go, and hold it. Let's get that opening from the creating space here in our ribs. You know, we, we have, a, our rib cage is there for a purpose to protect our lungs and our heart. And we don't have much space from the hips to the floating rib. So it's nice to give yourself some space between that, that in that area. Good. And then come back up. Now let's do it with a flow, with your breath. So we inhale the arms up, exhale over to your right side. That's it. And then inhale back up. Not very hard, not, not a, a tough move to do. Very beneficial move. Side, moving the 
the torso, the spine, sideways, laterally. Good. Over to your right. And back up again. And over to your left. There we go. And back up again. One more time. Join me. Take it over to your right. As you exhale, reach from that left arm. Very good. And back up. And then take it over to your left. You're doing great. All right. So we've done some twists. And we've done some lateral. So let's do some forward bends and back bends. And we're just still seated here on the floor. You hold your kneecaps. And when you inhale, tip forward. Just bring your, your shoulders forward and then lift your chin. And then exhale, which would make a, a rounding in your shoulders. So you're making the letter C, sort of a curve like this with your back. And then inhale. Come back up, lifting the chin. And exhale, round. Good. And again, lift up, shoulder blades back onto the spine. You're lifting your heart, lifting your chin. Good. And exhale, round. That's it. I hope you're joining me. So we're doing a back, a forward bend and a back bend. Good. And then come to neutral. But there's one more thing we can do with our spine, and we, that means we can circle it, circumduction. So join me here. Let's start circling around. So we did a side, we did a twist, we did a forward and a back. Now we bring them all together and do some circling. Yeah. So you think about this, you're creating circulation for your body, helping that movement. Now let's go the other way. The more you can stay supple and move and freely in your life, the easier it is as you get older. So one thing we lose as we, as we get into our sunshine and sunset years is we lose flexibility. So yoga is a perfect practice to help increase that. It also builds strength. Good. Now let's bring your knees up. Excellent. If your legs were straight out in front of you, just bend your knees and put your feet so that you're, you're going to sit forward a little bit. And so your knees are straight up like this. And then I want you to lean back a little bit and put your hands behind you. You need to put the fingers out. Remember again, this is very yoga. Very, that's what will work for you. You can, sometimes people teach that your hands have to go forward, but that might be too much of a bind on your wrist. So turn your hands out or turn the fingers to face back. So I want to be able to feel comfortable here and you're going to drop your knee. Start with your, I'll mirror you again. I'm going to take, you take your right knee. Just take it down towards the floor. You're going to get a stretch in the top of that thigh. That's your quadricep. Also, you might feel it in your hamstrings. It may not go all the way to the floor, but just take it in that direction. Good. And then bring your knee back up and the other side. Just get a good stretch. And now, see, we've moved from the neck, the shoulders, did the spine, now the legs and the hips. And go through the body one little place at a time to get it moved and stretched. Then take your opposite knee. So we're just going back and forth. And we're going to do this then lying down on our back. So I just want you to see how you move your knees. Very good. Come up. I'm going to do this one more time on each side, and then I'm going to invite you to lie down on your back. Good. So let's, and then we're going to do the same thing when we're lying down on our backs. So I'm going to do is take my feet out in front of me a minute so I can lie down. But you'll then separate your feet wide apart, just like we were when we were sitting up, and just lie down. Just come on down with me. Good. Arms go in cactus. Again, drop the right knee. Ooh, changes it a little bit to this left foot. Bring it up. Drop the left knee. Good. And then bring it up. Now we're going to add a little thing here. We'll do one more time to the right side. And then one more time to the left. And what we're going to do in the middle is we're going to lift our hips up. So you bring your knees up. And then we do an easy bridge. Lift your hips. Come on, join me. And then lower your hips. Now stay here and lift your hips again. It's one time, two more times. And down, this helps strengthen your legs and your low back. And then lift up again, easy bridge. Good, and release. All right, so I want you to walk your feet in together. Bring one knee, just bring your right knee into your chest, just bend the knee. And you can do this, you can look up if you need to look at the TV, but then just lie back down again. Because I can instruct you, just close your eyes, your knee is into your chest. And then straighten your left leg right up to the ceiling. Look up there at your toes. If your eyes are closed, open them and see your toes and your left foot. And then lower your left leg to the floor. One smooth move. Good. On your inhale, bring it back up again. 
and then exhale, lower it back down again. Do that with me two more times. You can do it. Bring your knee, your leg up. That's the left leg coming up and lower it back down. And then again, one more time. Lift it up and lower it down. Yeah. Let's switch legs. Change knees. Draw the knee in, the left knee into your chest. Lift your right leg to the ceiling. Good, exhale, lower it down. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take the feet wide apart again. Do that, take your feet wide apart. And I was having you drop one knee to the foot and then bring it up. I want you to do both knees now. So you're gonna take both knees over to, the, to your side, over to your left side, and then bring them back up again. And take the knees over to the right side. A couple more times here with me. Knees up, knees down. Now your arms can be in cactus like I have, or you can take them out into a T. Just let the arms relax and the shoulders relax. Right now you're focusing on your legs and your hips. Good. One more time to the left side, and then back up and one more time to the right side. Excellent. And walk your feet in together, knees in together. And you roll to one side and come up to sitting. Hello. And you sit with your legs out in front. We did this, this is a pose Dandasana, and maybe earlier in the show you did this with your, for yourself. But everybody, now I want, I'm gonna do it too. So your legs are straight out in front of you, but your feet are apart. So make sure there's some space there between your feet. And what we're gonna do here, is you're gonna bring your arms up. Remember we had you stretch your arms up earlier. This time you're gonna stretch your arms up but bring your hands together and interlace your fingers just to have, the, have your index fingers pointed upward. Good. Inhale, lift up, and then exhale, fold. Oh. Now, as you come forward, you might feel your low back going, ah, bend your knees. So this is maybe really new to some of you, and I want you to honor this low back area. So you lift up again, but so those knees are quite bent, like how mine are, and then fold again. You might feel, oh, that doesn't feel so bad and that I still get a stretch, but it's, there's no um, tension or stress in the low back. Inhale. Exhale. Now, if you're one that's been practicing with, uh, here with me on Jones Television and you have some more flexibility in your legs and your back, then let's take it a little more into a deeper stretch. Take your legs straight and then fold. So I showed you a way to vary it. And you need to do that because, you know, the back is a very, uh, it's, it's strong, but if we hurt it, it takes, it just takes away from our quality of life. And we want it to be a happy, we want to have happy backs, always. Good. Do this again with me two more times. I'm folding forward. Now again, if you just tuned in, you're like, oh, I can't do that. Bend your knees. Yeah. Like this. There's nothing wrong with it. In fact, it's, I started this way. I, I, you know, yoga has been my life work for the last 20 something years because I came to yoga with a really bad back. Neck issues, whiplash, lower back, I have scoliosis, you know, I've got it all, but I'm pain free thanks to yoga. And I want you now to bend your right knee and bring your right foot underneath your left hip. We do a little, t a different kind of twist here with one knee up, one knee down. The heel of your left foot just coming right to the shin of your Right leg, good, and pull against, interlace your hands and pull against your shin, sit up nice and straight. And sometimes when we sit, when I say sit up straight, I notice with students, they think, oh, the chin has to lift too. But try not to lift the chin, just let the head be neutral. You can kind of give a little toss there, a little turning, and sit up nice and straight from your spine. Good, and now lift your right arm way up in the air and then wrap the arm around your knee. So this is the beginner stage of this twist. And you bring your, left hand behind you. Now some of you might be thinking, well, I can do that pretty easy. What's, what's more advanced? Show me the more advanced move. So what, if you want to try it a little bit more advanced, you lift this foot and take it to the outside of your thigh. And make sure you still sit, sitting down on your hips and sit bones. And then the furthest you can do is take the elbow to the outside of the knee. Whoo! Some of you are going to feel this, a deep twist for your <clears throat> low back. So also twists are great for our metabolism, for our digestive system. And then release, come forward, good. Let's change sides, bring that right foot up. Bring the left foot underneath. 
and keep the, the knee right in front of the shin. So we're just gonna interlace our hands, lift up, remember I said lift up, lengthen. So if you're pushing the crown of your head straight up towards the ceiling, that's it, good. And then take this hand behind you and wrap your elbow around your knee, just twist. So that's the first stage of this twist. And if you wanna go a little deeper, you take the foot to the outside of your thigh and you might hear some pops and you do your, all of a sudden you just did your own chiropractic adjustment. And then you bring your elbow to the outside of the knee, lengthen upward and twist and breathe. The Sanskrit for this pose is Arda Matsyandrasana. It's half Lord of the Fish twist. So I have some very unique names in the yoga practice. And then come back to center, good. Woo. Let's do one for our low backs. Bring your soles of your feet together. Now, the accessibility of this pose for some people to hold their toes like this is, it's not there. So I'm gonna show you a variation. You just hold your ankles. It's totally fine. But keep the soles of your feet together. And then pull, because when you pull against your ankles, you can actually pull yourself forward a little more. And the goal is not to round the back, but to keep it nice and straight. So I'm not gonna go very far. I just want you to keep the soles of your feet together pushing those toes into each other. You know, I've, uh, I have to tell you a little secret, that every day, the day before I always do this shoot, I get a pedicure. And I have to tell you, pedicures are the greatest thing for you. You don't have to get color if you want, but I go to Joseph at Natural Nails and I just love getting my feet worked on. So maybe in the next show we'll do a little footwork because taking care of our feet is extremely important. Good, and then come back up. Yep. And then use your hands, slide them up your shins and put them underneath your knees. And then just bring your knees together. Good. Now take your legs out in front of you. We're gonna do one more thing here before we finish the show and it's going to be a pa it's gonna be some flow, but it's on the floor. It's called John Yusher Shasana Flow. So I want you to do is sit to the side of your mat, bend your knee and bring it to the inside of your thigh. So we're gonna do this with the breath. Inhale, lift your arms up. Now we did this early. We lifted our arms up early, so we prepared for all this. And then exhale, fold. Reach your toes, your, shin, your ankle, or your shins. Good. Inhale, come back up. And then exhale, turn and twist. We did a twist. We warmed up with a twist. And then we're going to inhale, lift up. Lift our hips up. Reach through your upper arm. And then exhale, come back down. You did it. Let's do that. Do that with me two more times. Maybe three. Inhale up. And exhale, fold. Flow with your breath. That's the other thing about Vera Yoga is we teach you to work with your breath, synchronize your moves with your breath, and come back down, and inhale up, and fold. Keep going, follow along with me. Exhale as you turn and twist, plant your back hands. As you inhale, sweep up, lift your hips up, and then come back down, good. So we get, let's do the other side, change. So we'll get that side too, before we have to close. It goes so fast, but I'm really grateful that you do take time for yourself, that you do, do tune in to Jones Television, that you practice along with me and lift up. I know the benefits. They, they make you a happier person, I think. You probably agree with me. And lift up, twist, inhaling, and exhale. Let's go one more time. Come on, you can join me. Inhale, good, and fold, <laughs> and lift up. Reach up through those fingertips. You got it, that's it. Twist, and then here comes that nice lift and open up, it's a little back bend, and then come back down. <sighs> Do you enjoy that? I hope so. <laughs> and if you just watched, that's great too. So let's come back, we're gonna finish like sitting in an easy cross-legged, or if you want to, lie down. Just lie down and I'll talk you through this guided meditation. So you can choose to sit or uh, lie down. Close your eyes, either in, a, in with both positions, and focus on your breath. And we started this session with a nice deep inhalation and an exhalation. And I want you to bring your awareness to your hands. We're gonna do this with our hands. This is how we're gonna end the show, is you're gonna keep your palms open at first, and then when you exhale, bring your thumb and index finger together. 
on each hand. Inhale, open your fingers. And exhale, bring your thumb and middle finger together. Inhale, open your fingers. Exhale. So you count down this way, just letting your hands relax. Connecting the fingertips together with the breath. Do this one more time with me. Exhaling, fingertips touch. Inhale, they open apart. Just let all stress drain out of your back, out of your head, out of your body. Stay with your breath. Thank you for taking time for yourself, for practicing a little bit of yoga, for tuning in to Very Yoga with Andrea. Very Yoga with Andrea is underwritten by the Arkansas Yoga Center. This eco-friendly facility will delight your senses and relax your body and mind. We offer classes in yoga, tai chi, meditation, and yoga teacher training. Our qualified instructors ensure that everyone is safe and comfortable at all class levels. Centrally located in Fayetteville next to Woodland Junior High. Visit us at the Arkansas Yoga Center to renew, refresh, and savor the stillness.